speak if I forget something, I apologize. But this is the first time that I'm actually doing a live video. So in today's video, and by the end of it, I expect that you will understand exactly why this single uh, feature of Next.js will impact your SEO by a lot. This single feature, this single thing that they have available to you as a developer will single-handedly boost your SEO. So if you're developing your own website for your own business, if you have a hobby, if you're building a side project, or if you work with freelancers, as a freelancer with clients, then you will benefit from this because this is really, really powerful. Now, here's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about uh, the get static site props. And this exactly, here's exactly what this means. This means that we are able using Nest.js to essentially pre-render an entire page beforehand. So when someone goes ahead and visits our website, the website doesn't have to make a request to the server each time that, that someone visits our website. Now, if we think about this in, in the following way, it really makes a lot of sense. So someone goes ahead and visits your blog post. The blog post doesn't usually change a lot. You usually write a blog post, you, you take a look at it, you edit it, uh, you make sure that it's perfect, and then you publish it. So you're not always going to have a blog post that constantly has new data on that page. And because of that, it makes a lot of sense for us to pre-render that page on build time. So essentially, once we are building our Next.js project uh, to be able to start it and then deploy it either to Vercel or to our own service, uh, in that moment, it makes a lot of sense to use those pages that are usually static and don't uh, don't have a lot of changes over time. So in that case, it makes a lot of sense and it will boost your SEO. Now, the cool thing about Next.js, and it, is, it isn't it is the only platform that allows us to do uh, static props. So essentially, other platforms also allow us to do server um, static site generation. So the reason this is uh, very, very, um, a lot more advanced than other platforms. So if you're using, for example, Gatsby, I think that you should move your entire website to Next.js because uh, it is constantly getting out new features that is uh, that are improving SEO and page speed more specifically. So here's exactly what I mean by this. I mean that uh, they now have available to us uh, an on-demand revalidation. And here's exactly how this process would look like. So I'm going to try and explain it to you here with these cards. So let's say that we have in here a request and that the request then goes to the server. Now, once this request goes to this server, what usually happens uh, on most platforms, so let's say that you're using, for example, Laravel or that you're using Ruby on Rails, there would be some kind of processing. So you would need to have uh, spend time, uh, let's say, gathering the data and then returning it. All right. So what would happen on a lot of cases, on a lot of, uh, if you use, a, a, I'd say, the majority of tools, use this process. So again, if you're using, for example, also WordPress, each time that you go ahead and you hit a WordPress site, it goes to the server. Now, it might be using cache. I understand that there's a lot of platforms that, a lot of websites that cache their pages in order to avoid making this round trip to the server each time that someone uh, goes ahead and requests a page from our website. But in this case, it is a lot faster with Next.js. Now, again, what happens usually is that this goes to the server, then it processes, and then it returns back to the server our data. <laughs> I just have to make sure this doesn't fall. And then it returns the data to the browser. OK, so this is exactly what usually happens when we're using, again, tools like Laravel. Now, with server side, um, with static site uh, generation, what usually happens is that there's a request and the request goes to the server because the server has to know exactly if this page will, is already uh, 
pre-rendered or not. So it doesn't know it by magic. So it still has to go to the server and ask the server if this page is pre-rendered or if it has to, um, to essentially change the data based on the person that is visiting it. But in this case, then it would simply return the HTML to the, to the browser. And as you can see, with static site generation, we would skip an entire step, which is the processing, which usually, again, takes a lot of processing power. And if you have a lot of traffic, this will slow down your website. And even if you don't, your page will for sure be slower with, uh, let's say, server-side rendering or client-side rendering that then has to go to a page and fetch some kind of, uh, to the server and fetch some kind of data. So this process would always be faster. Now, what is the problem with most with most tools when we use them? And what's the problem with static site generation? Is that each time that we change a blog post, so let's say that you made a typo on a blog post, you'd th uh, theoretically have to go ahead and rebuild your entire website. And this is exactly what Next.js helps uh, with, and this is what makes it so powerful. Now, this feature is still in beta. It is still not uh, in its final form. So as you can see here, um, they even say here, unstable revalidate. So this means that if we want to use this feature, they are making sure that we know that this for now is unstable, but it is working at the time. And here's exactly what happens, essentially, we use here a pay, uh, an API endpoint. So Next.js allows us uh, essentially to using Node, uh, using a Node server to create API uh, endpoints just with Next.js without having to have a separate server. And when we hit here this API, we are able to pass in here this code, which is then going to revalidate. Now, exactly here's exactly how you can use this. Let's say that you have a platform that you're using, for example, WordPress, then you would uh, integrate that a uh, WordPress API with your Next.js website. And each time that you would hit save changes, you could then make a request to Next.js and then it would um, revalidate only this individual page and that would happen on demand. Now, this is exactly the reason why I believe that you should be using Next.js, if you want to boost your SEO, if you want to boost your page speed, and that uh, as a result will boost your user experience and Google and other search engines will love that. And that will at the end again, boost your SEO. Now for today, this is all I have to show you. If you're interested in learning exactly how to implement this, let me know in the comments below because I'm more than happy to make a video about this. And thanks so much for watching and also subscribe to get notified 